Comenius, The Beginnings, Part 3b, Constellations, Bora Ales, Oi Boreoi, The Constellations of the Northern Hemisphere, Janua Linguarum Reserata, De Firmamento, Peri Tu Stereomatos, Signa, Tasemata. Bora Ales, Oi Boreoi, Ursa, Ursai, e Arctos, Tes Arctu. In Ursa Minore, well, Cunosura, Septem. In Arctoi Micrae, e Cunosurae, Hepta. The mythology associated with the Little Bear and the Big Bear constellations is the story of Callisto and Arcas. Zeus disguised himself as Artemis, the Roman goddess Diana, to seduce the would-be virgin nymph Callisto, who then bore a son Arcas. Hera was angry and turned Callisto into a bear. Callisto became Ursa Maior and Arcas Ursa Minor. Ursa Minor and Ursa Minor had an earlier name among the Greeks Kunos Ura, dog's tail, Ursa Minor contains the Little Dipper, made up of the constellation's seven brightest stars, and Polaris, the North Star. Stellae Bora Ales Intra Signa Septem, Informes Nula, Asteres Boreoi Morpeentes Hepta, Amorpotoi Udes, Summa, Stella intra signa ducentae non aginta sex, informes sex aginta, to kepalaion, asteres morpeentes diacosioi eneconta hex, amorpotoi hexeconta. And the Greeks and Romans had an uncertain concept of zero and no real symbol for it. That came to us is part of the Hindu-Arabic numeral system that we use. Ursa, he arctos, in Ursa Maiore, well, heleke, we ginti septum, et octo, in arctoi, e arctoi megale, et he helike, ecosi hepta, amorpotoi octo. In Greek literature, he arctos by itself normally refers to Ursa Maior, and the Greeks also call this constellation He Helike from its revolving around the North Pole. Ursa Maior, aka in English-speaking countries Charles Wayne, contains the Big Dipper, aka Plough. The Romans called the seven stars comprising the Big and Little Dippers and by extension, the two bear constellations containing them, the Septentriones, the seven plowing oxen. Septentriones, Septentrionalis, was also the Roman term for north. Bora ales intra signa triginta quatuor, informes octo, boreoi morpeentes triaconta tetares, Amorpotoi octo. In summa, stellae intra signa, trecentae vigenti tres, stellae informes, sexaginta octo. In kepalaioi, asteras morpeentes, triacosioi ecosi tres, amorpotoi hexecunta octo. Draco, draconis, o dracon, Tu dracontos. In dracone triginta una. In draconti triaconta hes. There were several candidate dragons in Greco Roman mythology for this constellation. One of them, Ladon, was the guardian of the golden apples of the Hesperides and was slain by Hercules, whose constellation is nearby. Bora ales intra signa sexaginta quinque, informes octo. Boreoi morpeentes hexeconta penta amorpotoi octo. Totai stellae intra signa trecentai quinquaginta quatuor, informes sexaginta octo. 
pantes asteres morpeentes triacosioi pentecunta tetares, amorpotoi hexecunta octo. Kepeus, kepei, o kepeos, tu kepeos. In kepeo undecem et duai, in kepe hendeca amorpotoi duo. In Greek mythology, Kepheus was the king of Ethiopia. Notice how far flung the stories of Greek mythology are geographically. He was married to Cassiopeia and was the father of Andromeda. Bora ales intrasigna septuaginta sex informes decem. Boreoi morpeentes hebdomecunta hex amorpotoi deca. Summa adhuc intrasigna trecentae sexaginta quinque informes septuaginta. Tocepaleon mecritutu morpeentes triacosioi hexaconta penta amorpotoi hebdomecunta. Bootes, bootai. Ho boates tu boatu. In boate well acto pulake we ginti duai et una ubi primae magnitudinis arcturus. En boate e acto pulaki ecosi duo cae hes amorpotos ho protu megetus ho arcturos. Ho boates means plowman. The alternate name Ho Arctopulax means bear guardian and is related to the Callisto Arcas myth. Ho Arcturos, which also means bear guardian, is the brightest star in the northern celestial hemisphere, the fourth brightest overall. Bora ales intrasigna nonaginta octo informes undecem. Boreoi morpeentes eneneconta octo amorpotoi hendeca. Summa ad tempus intrasigna trecentae octoginta septem, informes septuaginta una. Tocepaleon mecritunun morpeentes triacosioi octoeconta hepta amorpotoi hebdomeconta hes. Corona, coronae, ho stepanos, tu stepanu. In corona borea, well, boreale, octo. In stepanoi, octo. And in Greek mythology, the crown is that given by Dionysus to Ariadne. Boreales intrasigna centum sex, informes undecem. Boreoi morpeentes hecaton hex, amorpotoi hendeca. Summa, intrasigna, trecentae nonaginta quinque, informes septuaginta una. Tocepaleon morpeentes triacosioi eneneconta penta, amorpotoi hebdomeconta hes. Hercules, Hercules, ho Heracles, tu Heracleus. In engonasi, Hercule, duo de triginta et una. En Heracle, ecosi octo, amorpotos hes. Aratus, writing in the third century before the common era, says nobody knew what to call this figure, and they just called him Ho in Gunasi, the one on his knees. Later, this was identified with Heracles kneeling in prayer to his father Zeus for help in his battle with the two giants Albion and Bergion. Boreales intrasigna centum triginta quatuor, informes duodecem. Boreoi morpeentes hecaton triaconta tetares, amorpotoi. Dodeca, in summa, intrasigna quadringintae viginti tres, informes septuaginta duae. In kepalaioi morpeentes tetracosioi ecosi tres, 
a morpotoi hebdomekonta duo. Lira, lirai. E lira, tes liras. In lira, vel vulture cadente decem, ubi primae magnitudinis est lirae fidicula. En lirae deca, hopu protu megetus e corde tes luras. Lira is also known as aquila cadens or vultur cadens. In Greek mythology, Zeus sent an eagle to retrieve Orpheus's lyre. The string of the lyre is vega, from an Arabic term meaning swooping eagle, one of the brightest stars in the northern hemisphere. Bora ales, intrasigna, centum, quadragenta, quatuor, informes, duodecem. Boreoi morpeentes, hecaton, tetaraconta, tetares, amorpotoi, dodeca. Totae stellae intrasigna, quadringentae triginta tres, informes septuaginta duae. Sympantes asteres morpeentes tetracosioi triaconta tres, amorpotoi hebdomeconta duo. Olor, olores, holcucnos, tu cucni. In olore, vel cugno, septendecem et duae, in cucnoi heptacaideca amorpotoi duo. Since its launch in 2009, the Kepler spacecraft has observed in Cygnus, one of several legendary swans in Greek mythology, many star systems with planets. As of November 2014, we have discovered over 1,800 exoplanets or extrasolar planets, planets that orbit a different star than our Sun. Astronomers have estimated that the Milky Way may contain as many as 400 billion exoplanets. As you look up at Cygnus in our night sky, what do you think the odds are that at least one or several of these exoplanets sustain some kind of life? Boreales intrasigna centum sexaginta una, informes quatuordecem. Boreoi morpeentes hecaton hexaconta hes, amorpotoi tetares cae deca. Summa ad hoc intrasigna quadringentae quinquaginta, informes septuaginta quatuor. Tocipalion mecritutu, morpeentes tetracosioi penteconta, amorpotoi hebdomeconta tetares. Cassiopeia, Cassiopeia, he Cassiopeia, tes Cassiopeias. In Cassiopeia tredecem, en Cassiopeia tres cadeca. Cassiopeia was the wife of Cepheus, the king of Ethiopia, and the mother of Andromeda. Bora ales intra signa centum septuaginta quatuor, informes quatuor decem. Boreoi morpeentes hecaton hebdomeconta tetares, amorpotoi tetares cae deca, summa ad tempus Intra signa quadringentae sexaginta tres, informes septuaginta quatuor, tocipalion mecritu nun, morpeentes tetracosioi hexaconta tetares, amorpotoi hebdomeconta tetares. Perseus, persei, ho perseus, tu perseos, in perseo wiginti sex et tres. In perse ecosi hex amorpotoi tres. And in Urania's mirror here, you can see Perseus bringing the head of Medusa the Gorgon to King Polydectes. Before and after, lots of people get turned into stone. 
Bora alles intra signa ducentae, informes septendecem. Bore oi morpeentes diacosioi, a morpotoi heptacaideca. Summa intra signa quadringentae unde non agenta, informes septuaginta septem. Toque palaion morpeentes tetracosioi ogdoeconta enea, a morpotoi hebdomeconta hepta. Auriga, aurigai, ho heniokos, tu henioku, in auriga, well henioko, well erectonio, quatuordecem, ubi est primae magnitudinus capella, well hircus. In heniokoe tetares caideca, ho puprotu megethus hedorx. The mythical autochthonous Athenian king Erichthonios founded the Pan-Athenaic festival, and for the associated games, he invented the four-horse chariot and competed as a charioteer, Auriga. According to some ancient mythographers, Zeus was so impressed by the resemblance of this achievement to Helios, who traveled across the sky in the sun chariot, that he promoted Erichthonius to the constellation Heniokos. You can see in Arrhenius mere Auriga carrying a goat. In Greek mythology, Capella represents Amalthea, the goat that suckled Zeus. It is the third brightest star in the northern celestial hemisphere after Arcturus and Vega. Bora ales intra signa Ducentae quatuordecem, informes septendecem. Boreoi morpeentes diacosioi tetares caideca, amorpotoi heptacaideca, totae stellae intra signa quingentae tres, informes septuaginta septem. Pantes asteres morpeentes Pentacosioi tres, amorpotoi hebdomeconta hepta. Ophiucus, Ophiuci, O opiucos, tu opiucu. In Ophiuco, well anguitenente, well serpentario, viginti quatuor et quinque. In opiucoi ecosi tetares amorpotoi penta. In Greek mythology, the snake carrier Ophiuchus represents the physician Asclepius. The snake-entwined rod of Asclepius is still a symbol of medicine. Bora ales intrasigna ducentae duo de quadragenta. Informes viginti duae. Boreoi morpeentes diacosioi triaconta octo, amorpotoi ecosi duo. Summa adhuc intrasigna quingentae vigenti septem, informes octoginta duae. Tocepaleon mecritutu morpeentes pentacosioi ecosi hepta, Amorpotoi ogdoeconta duo. Serpens, serpentes, and also anguis, anguis, o opis tu opeos. In serpente ophiuci, well anguitenentes duo deviginti. En opi opiucu octocaideca. The constellation Serpens is split into two non-contiguous parts, Serpens Caput and Serpens Cauda, with Ophiuchus in between. Bora ales intrasigna ducentae quinquagenta sex. Informes viginti duae. Boreoi morpeentes diacosioi penteconta hex. Amorpotoi ecosi duo. Summa ad tempus intra signa quingentae 
quadragenta quinque, informes octogenta duae, toque palaion mecritunun, morpeentes pentacosioi tetaraconta penta, amorpotoi ogdoeconta duo. Sageta, sagetai, ho oistos, tu oistu, also oistos, oistu. To toxelma, tu toxelmatos. In sageta, well, telo quinque. In oistoi, e toxelmati, penta. The arrow is variously identified as that with which Hercules killed the eagle, the constellation Aquila, that perpetually gnawed Prometheus' liver, or that which Hercules shot at the Stymphalian birds, or that with which Apollo exterminated the Cyclopes, or the far-shooting Apollo is archer, Hecebolos Apollon, see the beginning of the Iliad. Bora ales intra signa ducentae sexagenta una, in formes viginti duae. Boreoi morpeentes diacosioi hexeconta hes, amorpotoi ecosi duo. Summa intra signa quingentae quinquagenta, in formes octogenta duae. Toque palaion Morpeentes pentacosioi penteconta, amorpotoi ogdoeconta duo. Aquila, aquilae, ho aetos, tu aetu. In aquila, well, vulture ulante, noem et sex. En aetoi enea, cae amorpotoi hex, antino on poiuntes. And in the myth, or the Greek religion, the eagle carried Zeus's arrows. Uh, Simon, the Greek translator, tacks on amorpotoi antina on poiuntes. Antinous was the emperor Hadrian's beloved and was promoted by him to the firmament after he saved the emperor from drowning in the Nile. In 1930, the IAU removed Antinous as an independent constellation and merged it with Aquila. Bora ales intra signa ducentae septuaginta, informes duo de triginta. Boreoi morpeentes diacosioi hebdomeconta amorpotoi ecosi octo. In summa, Intrasigna quingentae unde sexagenta, informes duo de nonagenta. En kepalaioi morpeentes pentacosioi penteconta enea, amorpotoi ogdoeconta octo. Delfinus, delfini, o delpis tu delpinos, in delfino decem. In Delpini, Deca. Story 1. Poseidon rewarded the dolphin who persuaded Amphitrite to succumb to the sea god's wooing. Story 2. A delightful story. A dolphin saved the poet Arion, inventor of the Greek dithyram, from being murdered by the ship's crew. Bora ales intrasigna ducentae octogenta. Informes duo de trigenta, boreoi morpeentes diacosioi ogdoeconta, amorpotoi ecosi octo, totae stellae intrasigna quingentae unde septuaginta, informes duo de nonagenta, sympantes asteres morpeentes pentacosioi hexeconta enea, Amorpotoi ogdoeconta octo. Eculeus, eculei. He protome, tut esti he protome hipu. In eculeo, well equi sectaone, quatuor. In protome hipu, tetares. 
Ekuleus is a diminutive meaning little horse, and the Greek name protome refers to the head and face or bust of a decapitated animal. Ekuleus is the smallest of Ptolemy's 48 constellations and the second smallest after Kirk's of the modern 88 constellations. One of several identifications of the little horse is with Celerus, who is either the offspring or the brother of the winged horse Pegasus. Boreales intrasigna ducentae octogenta quatuor, informes duo de trigenta. Boreoi morpeentes diacosioi ogdoeconta tetares, amorpotoi ecosi octo. Summa ad hoc intrasigna quingentae septuaginta tres, informes duo de nona genta. Tocepaleon mecritutu morpeentes pentacosioi hebdomeconta tres, amorpotoi ogdoeconta octo. Pegasus, pegasi, ho pegasos tu pegasu. In pegaso, well equo alato, viginti. En pegasoi ecosin. Aratus poem Phenomena, written around 275 before the Common Era, is one of our chief sources for the myths associated with constellations. The Phenomena was very popular in antiquity and was translated into Latin both by Cicero and by Caesar Germanicus. Aratus and later Ptolemy refer to this constellation only as Ho Hippos, the horse, but Aratus makes the association with the winged Pegasus, Equus Alatus, clear by recounting one of the myths of Pegasus that it was the horse in this constellation who dug out with his hooves the fountain Hippocrene, Hippocrenes, horse's fountain, on Mount Helicon in Greece. Bora Ales intrasigna trecentae quatuor. Informes duo de trigenta. Boreoi morpeentes triacosioi tetares, amorpotoi ecosi octo. Summa ad tempus intra signa quingentae nonagenta tres. Informes duo de nonagenta. Toque paleon mecritunun morpeentes pentacosioi enneconta tres. Amorpotoi ogdoeconta octo. Andromeda, Andromedae, e Andromeda, tes Andromedas. In Andromeda, vigenti tres. En Andromede, ecosi tres. As we've seen, Andromeda was the daughter of Cepheus and Cassiopeia. So what's the story here? She was rescued by Perseus, after being chained by Poseidon to a rock and exposed to the sea monster Ketus as punishment for her mother's boast that she was more beautiful than the Nereids, Poseidon's sea nymphs. Boreales intrasigna trecentae viginti septem, informes duo de trigenta. Boreoi morpeentes triacosioi ecosi hepta, amorpotoi ecosi octo. Summa intra signa sescentae sedecem, informes duo de non agenta. Toque palaion boreoi morpeentes hexacosioi hecaideca, amorpotoi ogdoeconta octo. Triangulum, trianguli, to delta ton, tu delta tu. In triangulo, well deltoto, well trigono, quatuor. In delta toi, e trigonoi, tetares. Aratus calls it to delta ton, meaning in the shape of the Greek letter delta, specifically according to Aratus and Isosceles triangle. Latinized by his translators as del totum. Ptolemy calls it to trigonon, Latinized as trigonum. 
Eratosthenes or Pseudo-Eratosthenes links it to the Nile Delta. Eratosthenes Katasteris Moi is another major source of constellation myths. Others, according to Hyginus, associated the constellation with the triangular-shaped island of Sicily, which because of its shape was sometimes called Trinacria, Trinacria, the three promontories. Hyginus Fabulae is yet another important source of constellation myths. And the grand total for the Borealis, Intrasigna, Trecentae, Triginta, Una. Informes, Duo de Triginta. Morpeentes, Triacosioi, Triaconta, Es. Amorpotoi, Ecosi, Octo. Summa adhuc, Intrasigna, Sescentae, Viginti. Informes, Duo de Nonagenta. Toque paleon mecritutu morpeentes hexacosioi ecosi, amorpotoi ogdoeconta octoi.